Welcome to some serious picking on this wing house lock. It was sent to me by Stromi90 in a recent package, so buddy, thank you very much for the lock. And it comes with no key, so I cannot show you the bidding, but we'll have a look at the key pins later on when I take it apart. It's a tricky pick and one reason for this lock to be tricky is the keyway. When you compare it to an Avis lock which has a Yale keyway, you can see that it's kind of a reverse Yale style keyway. So it's a mirror image of the Avis keyway and it's thinner. So it's much more paracentric. The curve here is uh, more bandy if you compare it to the Avis. And this part here on the Avis is quite wide while it's quite thin here on the wing house. When you use a 15 thousandths pick, uh, this is a Sparrows one, you can work from the end of this keyway on the Abus and reach up all the way. So it's a bit dragging, but it actually works quite well. So, but this is not the case here. When you try to use the same technique on the, on the wing house, you can see there is no way in getting this pick pent around this curve and picking the pins from, from the end of this keyway. So you are forced to use this gap here, this, this area, and to work from this ledge and either try to get your pick um, in, the, in the holes of this piece of warding or try to work it around the curve and pick it in this manner. Yeah, beside of the um, very paracentric keyway, you have also kind of uh, some sort of uh, security pins, spools, and in the back, I believe, um, either uh, serrated or uh, tapered drivers. So it's quite a tricky and interesting pick. And I picked it a couple of times by now, but um, it's still the same uh, tricky pick. So I will clamp it up and pick it for you. Uh, for this assembling, I've already cut one of these uh, rings, so that's not a clip. You can see it on the on the right hand side here, that's not a clip, it's a continuous ring. And it's quite nasty to get this off, so um, I took a saw and cut it, uh, now it looks like this, and put a, um, another clip here so that the plug won't come uh, out when I um, have the lock picked. So I clamp it up and we will see how the picking goes. Alright, lock is clamped in a vise. I use a Peterson pry bar 1.0 millimeter uh, to tension the lock here on the pin side, fits nice and tight. And use this pick here for picking the pins. It turned out that this profile is quite good on this lock and for the spitting. Um, the pick itself is made by Apache lock sport and the handle was attached by TNJ lock picking knot. Awesome pick, uh, thank you very much. Gentlemen, so let's get started. I turn it uh, counterclockwise and start at one. One is binding, set it, work my way to the back. There's not much feedback in the beginning. So these Pins in the back are also binding. Sometimes it's quite hard to say which pin it is because of the. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very narrow, very tight in here, and you also have to fight with the, uh, with the warding. And ha, here we go. Core turned a little bit to a little false set and getting counter rotation here from the back. I believe it's five. You heard pins dropping before I could set it. So now I think I, I set it. Maybe one came back. Now it's set again. Touched four or five and the core turned back in the fourth set. Before I picked the other side and it picks totally different. That's, that's amazing. It's like a different lock, actually. <laughs> I've got a counter rotation here from, what is it? I believe it's three. Trying to set the spool. Maybe I got it. So setting these spools is really difficult. And five came back. Uh, I thought it would open. 
<laughs> no. Maybe four again. Feels good. So five. Oh, one came back. I think we are really close. Let's hold this up. Ah, one is springy. That's not a good sign. So maybe maybe we aren't close. We are over said something. I release tension a little bit. Okay, something came back. Let's see. Five. One is binding, got it. Two, that's four, I believe. Five, four, three, two, one came back again. That's a fight. It's a really serious picking here. And the lock is open. All right. So I'm really curious to see the pins. Um, I have to be careful now because I don't do that too often. First let's get off the... I uh, don't do, do that too often with um, this tool here. So let's see how this goes. number one. It's a standard. Two. Also a standard. Three. Yep, yeah, it's a spool. Come out. Very nice long spool. Four. It's another spool as expected. Oops, and five popped up, and yep, it's a tapered one, like a like a T pin. Very cool. So I can take this out. We can look inside the plug. Nothing special here. So I can point you down to see the pins. Looks like um, driver one is a steel pin. I have my magnet somewhere here. Yeah, it's a steel pin. The others are made from brass, I believe. Now let's quickly dump out the key pins as well. Too bad of bidding. Um, very short, dry, very short key pin in three, hidden behind two, and yeah, four is a little bit longer than five. That's also not too bad. So very interesting luck. Um, quite a tricky pick because of the uh, nastiness of the of the keyway. Yeah, and um, yeah, pluck nothing special. Everything's round end. Very good tolerances. All right, so that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching, and Shroomy90, um, thank you very much for sending this log to me. Yeah, thanks for watching. Happy picking, and bye bye.